Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I have such an exciting oracle. I've been waiting for this for what feels like the, the longest times ever. Um, is the Energy and Spirit Oracle by Sandra and Anne Taylor. So for those of you that maybe are new to Oracle cards, I absolutely love Sandra Ann Taylor. I use her Energy Oracle all the time, especially when I'm doing readings for others. Um, I absolutely find them so beautiful. I'll actually take them out here because I have them here beside me. Um, if you don't know, I don't have the box, but this is what the box of them look like. Now they are glossy, but you know what, over time they shuffle absolutely beautiful and the cardstock, I have to say I love the cardstock on this. Yes, I'm a cardstock snob, but this is what the cards look like and I'm absolutely obsessed. I, I really love this deck. And I always find like the artwork is so beautiful on it. And it really tunes in. I love the story to spread. Um, tunes in to my intuition. It's just fabulous. I really, really love it. Sorry if you can hear my dogs. I have the window open and because it's it's warm today, you guys. It is warm. So if you were new, hi, welcome. I am Mand and I would be super active over on Instagram if you ever want to follow for chats and laughs and all that fun stuff. Um, so let's, one second, yeah, let me try not to break this out. <laughs> Let's get into this. As you can see, the uh, plastic is still on it. I literally only got in the post, I think, yesterday. And trust me, you guys, when I say, like, I was eager to just rip this open and get stuck in. But I was like, no, I want to wait. I want to do a walkthrough because it just, the box alone, I mean, look at that. I'm still trying to get the proper angle here when recording these. <laughs> So this is, as we have said several times, um, by Sandra Ann Taylor, and it is published by Hay House. So I hope, I'm hoping it's not the same Hay House cardstock, but look, I couldn't pass this up because I love it. And the cover art is by Sherry Polk, is that how you pronounce it? And a Brian Star Best. And so that's the back if you want to read it. Because I know some people don't want others to read it. And this was around 20 odd euros. So if you don't know, I'm based in Ireland. And I tend to get these off Book Depository. I do recommend with Book Depository if you're in Ireland on ordering it as a pre-order. Because one, it works out cheaper. And two, you can't seem to get them after they leave pre-order. I don't know what that's about. So... Let's get into the deck. Oh, this is always the like, I'm sure all the nail techs are cringing at how I use my nails as tools. They're jewels, not tools. I always remember <laughs> learning that. Fun fact, you guys, I actually am qualified in doing nails. I don't think a lot of people know that. So anyway. We're not here to talk about nails, are we? We're here to talk about this deck. So it is one of those nice little boxes. Oh gosh, I'm so awful when it comes to these things. So we have, oh my God, is anybody like into book smells and deck smell? I, this smells, this smells gorgeous. I love this. I, I know I remember saying it to my brother like ages ago about how I love sniffing books and he's like seriously man like could you not be normal I'm like god no <laughs> no that's so boring <laughs> so the inside here says your life is vibrating with unlimited potential manifest miracles with spirit every day oh I'm I'm so beyond excited I mean can you tell I'm this it looks like it's super matte and do you know that um Rockpool Publishing, kind of that um, matte silk kind of feel. 
So we have a decent enough size guidebook actually, to be fair. I'm gonna move this out because I don't know if my camera is gonna focus. Okay, and that's the back of the guidebook. Oh, that smells, I'm so worried guys, I'm sorry, but this smells so good. <laughs> Um, there's 117 pages, or maybe more, sorry, no, 117 pages, all with your usual information, and then you have, I hate cracking the spines, an introduction about the cards, different types of cards, reading the cards, preparing for a reading, and card spreads, so you have the one card, three card, seven card, and the nine card spread. I and the energy circle and the road. Holy cow, that's a lot of cards. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, different card spreads. I. Oh, there is reversed in uh, this card or this deck, sorry. There is reversed, upright, reversed, and some of them have. I oh, know all of them have affirmations as well, and you know how much I love affirmations. Okay. Sorry, you can hear my crystals clicking or clinking here. So that's the inside. But we're not here for that, are we? We are here for... Oh my gosh, these tapes. <laughs> oh, it's paper. It's okay. Guess what, you guys? I still haven't sorted out my chair. So that's... An absolute delight, isn't it? Okay, so first of all, sorry. This is how chunky the deck is. Can we see? It's not too bad. Now, I have pretty small hands, so this is actually, yeah, that is not bad as far as um, Oracle decks go. These are the backs. Oh my gosh, I don't think the camera is picking up how purple. One second, let me turn off this light here. Is it picking it up now? No, not really. Kind of, actually, it's a bit better. This is divine. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with the backs here. All right, let's turn on the light again. Because we won't be able to see. Oh, Jesus. Sorry about that. I'm only creating a mess here. Did I ever say I was clumsy? Well, I'm clumsy. So, there are the backs. Right, before we get into the cards, I know a lot of us like to know what the card stock is like and some of us are, myself included, I can be funny about card stock because it's not that I'm rough with my cards but I like to know that they're going to last. If you're spending your hard earned money, you know, you don't really want to be spending it on card stock that isn't great but sometimes, I have to say sometimes, the cards or the images are just too beautiful that you can't pass them up. Okay, it's a bit stiff. It is that matte. So this is going to photograph beautifully. I do feel my light is slightly washing out the colours a bit. They are far more, it looks more vibrant actually on camera, but they're a bit muted, but it's it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. Um, But yeah, that's, can we see it one second now? It's not bad. As far as cardstock go, it is not bad. It's far better than the Shaman's Dream Oracle. I'm not even going to talk about that. I love that deck, but the cardstock. Oh, the cardstock is horrible in it. Absolutely brutal. I don't like it. <laughs> and I love that deck, but I hate the cardstock. Right, enough of that, man. Let's move on to the cards. So I'm going to try and zoom you in a little bit. And hopefully it's not, um, blurry or anything like that. I'm just checking. Okay. So I'm not going to read out the titles. You guys can pause and look at that yourself. Did I say it was a 44 card deck? No, I didn't. I don't think so. But now you know, it's 44 card. So let's get comfy to look at 44 cards together and hear my thoughts and... <laughs> Me talking to it. I love this. Oh, 
Okay, I love the webbing in this and the different, what to me, they look like orbs. Oh, that's so cool. Sensitivity and strength, that. That is so cool. That's called an anvil, right? I swear, you guys, when I come on here, like, <laughs> Everything I know just goes out the window. I can't seem to. The minute I hit record, it's just. <laughs> okay, so that's that's what's on the front of the box, right? I, I love that. I definitely think it's one of my favourite um deck fronts. Like, love that. Ooh, excuse me. I just love the artwork that is done for Sandra Ann Taylor's decks. I know that mightn't be for everyone, but I definitely like it. I have to say I do like the matte cardstock better than the glossy but that's because I also upload on Instagram so glossy can be so difficult to take photos of. I love this, the past life guides. And I know some people don't like the whole kind of real faces and stuff. I do because it just seems for me that I can relate to it more it's easier for me to from my intuition to tune into it more so than if they were cartoony like not that I don't like cartoon decks I do um but there just wouldn't be a massive amount I do like that bit of realism as well Okay, I can see similarities within the deck already to the, um, okay, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, with, I have the Quantum Oracle, I have all of Sandra Ann Taylor's decks, um, the Quantum Oracle, I believe, has the same kind of teacher learning a new pattern stuff. I do like that. Okay, we have Archangels here as well. I love that the Akashic Records has come up because I know she's a deck that um, I have had as well as the Akashic Records, which I must use and work with it. But um, Okay, that's interesting. I like it though. I really like it. Elementals. Okay, that is... <laughs> that is really interesting. Now, I don't work with Elementals um, or the Fae or anything like that. Um, it's just not part of my practice. Is that supposed to be a leprechaun? Aside from that, I do like the rest. Not that Faye energy calls to me as such, but that is that is a pretty card. Just, but I guess he's representing Earth, right? And then you water, fire, and air. That's the way I would have have it anyway. Oh, confusion! Oh, I like that. Yeah, there's definitely a similarity um, within her other de decks because I know my energy oracle has like indecision or something like that. So that would be quite similar, except it's a person standing here with like a red cloak at a crossroads. So there is similarities. 
okay i love that i'm really feeling like the tree of life here with this as well with the roots and the groundedness family but you can get so much from this because you can really speak about um not just expansion and legacy but also you know ancestral and going back to your roots and going back for so you know i like the way with these cards you can go really in depth Oh, look at the little chicken. <laughs> you know, guys, how much I love animals. And it, like, would you believe I don't have many animal decks? Which is, it's funny. Sometimes the things that we love isn't always necessarily what we feel drawn to when it comes to decks. Oh, that's lovely. This feels like such a powerful card. It really does. The eagle and the wings here as well. So, yeah. Oh, I like that. That is cool. I hope it's picking up on the camera because it's like really green around here. It's just so mystical and magical. <laughs> okay. All the clocks and the post-its. It's the post-its and the stack. You see, do you see what I mean? Like the more detail that's with it in a card, the more your intuition can flow and go with it. It's Okay, this is an archangel I've never, I haven't heard of. But it's pretty. Oh, that's cool. Thought vibrations. Okay, that's cool. Oh, okay, yeah. So this could really mean about being off balance and trying to get into center and feeling all over the place, like you're juggling everything. I really like this, yeah. Goddess of dreams, oh, okay. Okay, I love that dress, that is gorgeous. Oh, animal totems. That's so cool. So we have... I'm assuming this is a cheetah. Or is it a leopard? Oh, I can never tell the difference. It's one of them. I think it's a cheetah, actually. Anyway, and you have a fox and an owl. I want to say deer. And I'm assuming that's a hawk. More so than an eagle. That is really powerful. I love that. But of course, you know my love of um, animals anyway. I love that ancestors. I love working with my ancestors and connecting with them. So I like when there's an ancestors card in a deck. Obviously not every deck needs an ancestors card, but I do appreciate that. Okay, crystals, you know how much I love crystals as well. So this deck is really hitting spots here for me, you guys. <laughs> Animals, ancestors, Akashic records, crystals. 
And we're only on the 29 carat. <laughs> Soulful appreciation. That is... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that is... Fab. I was just going to say like that looks like the Northern Lights, but actually when you look at it more, it looks more like the cosmos and the stars. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I could get lost in these cards now. Oh my gosh. Really? The one time I go recording and there's a plane flying overhead. I mean... <laughs> Really? Okay, we are back. I nearly had a slight heart check there because I just realised, oh, I need to zoom you guys in a small bit. <laughs> when I stopped it to make sure that the plane was gone by, I took a picture and then I realised, oh God, don't tell me. I'm just after talking for this long to realise I haven't clicked record. Anyway. <laughs> It's all good. Let's get moving. Ooh, okay, that's, ooh. Oh, wow. I love like the sky and thunderstorms and lightning storm, thunder, yeah, thunder and lightning and rain. I just, I love all the seasons to be fair. So I love the way the lightning is incorporated here. Oh, Angels of the Seven Chakras. Okay, I absolutely love chakras and energy work and all this. So this is gorgeous. Okay, I love, I love the fact that the, the seven chakras themselves have been incorporated here. And it's not just seven separate cards. <coughs> Excuse me. so we do have a few archangels here I love that that's so cute personal guide so we all have our own personal spirit guide guardian angel out oh, there <laughs> oh my gosh that's Charlie anyway for sure barking oh I love that I love the hammock oh my gosh where can I get one of those that is beautiful. We we all need moments of that, don't we? Like relaxation and just chilling out. Better again if it's on the beach. <laughs> Ascend it masters. Okay, that's I hope you guys can see. That is really interesting. Devoted spirits with specific intentions. Okay, so if you're into Ascend it Masters. This is, yeah. Talent guides. Okay, I love that. Because what we don't realise is we have, there's many different guides out there and it's not just your um, own specific um, spirit guide. And, you know, you have ones for different, um, so whether it be medicine or creative, anything really. Oh, I love this. I really do like this because that's um I love the, the willow tree here and the lotus and the butterflies and the castle. Oh. The brick gold road gold road, oh my god. Um really does give that whole um Wizard of Oz vibes, but look, that doesn't bother me. That's not a your eternal spirit. I love that. How we're like eternal beings and how the soul and how energy is infinite and oh, I could go on but I won't <laughs> and the last card is divine presence the force of love and creation and I wow this is gorgeous this is truly truly a fabulous deck I have to say I mean I can well imagine how this is going to shuffle. 
Um, this is just, oh, it's beautiful. It really is truly stunning. If you're on the fence and you like Sandra Ann Taylor decks, but you don't know which one to get, I, so far, I haven't worked with it, but I would definitely recommend this one because this is beautiful. I mean, listen to that. Oh, that is gorgeous. So that's the deck, you guys. And our box and the guidebook. Oh, let me zoom you out. I can't wait to work with this. I'm really excited to work with this. Uh, this it's it's gorgeous. It truly is so so beautiful and definitely one for beginners if you're you know starting out with oracle card readings and you're not really sure i definitely think this gives a nice introduction deck in one way it'd be a nice one to learn with definitely definitely recommend so you guys i hope you enjoy this um video let me know in the comments below do you have this deck are you gonna pick it up for yourself have i inspired you to go treat yourself go get this deck <laughs> Anyway, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate it so very much. And, um, yeah, if you're not subscribed and you want to subscribe, please feel free to do so. If not, not to worry. That's all right. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.